and a Novato housing development are locked in a fight over a median island they say is unsightly and presents a fire danger. But the island's creator says it's a simply a natural environment and she's digging in her heels to protect it. John Ramos has that story. 14 years ago, this median island in rural Novato was adopted to become a sanctuary for pollinators, butterflies and bees. But in the process, it stirred up a hornet's nest of controversy. Alameda del Prado is the street that leads into the Pacheco Valley neighborhood. There, the landscaping is orderly with plants arranged in neat rows. But back on the street, there is an island of randomness on which Marsha Basala feels very much alone. This is uh, part of the monarch uh, habitat. The milkweed right now is cut back, but it gets, uh, it's, it gets up to three feet, so it covers the, all this here. When she first adopted the street median in 2009, it looked like this. But over the last 14 years, Basala has transformed it into a natural setting, meant to be a habitat for all kinds of pollinating insects, including the beautiful monarch butterfly, which she says just started showing up about three years ago. There's just one problem. They don't look at it as an improvement to their neighborhood. They look at it as an eyesore. A lot of people are very, are uh, unhappy that it doesn't fit within, it has no design. So we're trying to have an attractive entrance to the, to the valley. And that's the first major island that you see. And it's, uh, it's in a erratic uh, growth stage. And always is and always will be. Kay White is a member of Friends of Pacheco Valley, a homeowners group that would like to see the median landscape changed. But along with aesthetic concerns, there are worries about the tall, dry grasses that exist in the summer, presenting a fire hazard in case a mass evacuation is called for. There are plans to even reduce the oleander bushes that line the other medians. We're working to reduce the, the flammable vegetation in the middle of all of the six islands, except that uh, Marsha Vesalia has uh, custody of one of those islands. The fire department has sent conflicting messages, recommending changes to the homeowners, saying, quote, the pollinator native landscape median sections would be renovated with an attractive and easily maintained landscape that demonstrates firewise characteristics. But Basala has a letter from the same fire official saying, plant away, and acknowledging that, quote, fire risk for Alameda del Prado as an evacuation route has been significantly reduced by work accomplished by Novato Fire and Marsha Basala. First they wanted me out of here because of the appearance, and then it was the, the fire hazard, and then that, that didn't work. Um, so then they went back to the appearance and then the fire hazard again. The homeowners think Basala is just being stubborn. She declined three different uh, other places that she could grow her wildflowers. And we feel that that's not very reasonable or considerate. But Basala has spent years tending her garden every weekend, and it's come to mean a lot to her. I am dead serious. This is, besides working a full-time job, this is my mission. I've lost a lot of sleep worrying about this, worrying about the critters losing their homes because they're, that's what would happen. Both sides say they are willing to compromise, but so far no one has found that common ground. The city, which owns the median, seems reluctant to declare a winner, having to choose between fire safety and nature conservation. So Basala remains on her island, preferring the randomness of nature over the order of man.